flight on the uh, Air 75. Didn't change anything except for the rates. They're pretty much stock rates. Just put a little bit of Expo in there. It's very, very agile. Natty flip, no problem. Power loops, no problem. Super locked in. Man, very little prop wash. of uh, momentum it's too light a little bit of wind oh right into the ground oh no video so bent a prop and smushed the battery on that Maddie flip because I went right into the ground. Get a little bit of jello now because of the bent prop. Actually, it's got like a chunk taken out of it. I keep getting these telemetry lost warnings that I'm like right next to me. I don't know why. Could be that cell tower over here. Still pretty good flight time. I'm pretty aggressive on the sticks. Oh, right off of the top. Boom. That's still hanging in. going all over the place now. Durability is hanging in there. I'm uh, really bashing this thing. I'm sure I got at least a couple more bent props now. A little battery warning. Three and a half minutes, uh, that's about right. All right, on to the next battery. All right, so doing a little, little bit different video today. Uh, there's already been like a thousand reviews on the Air 75 already. I'm not gonna get into the details as to why I'm reviewing this so late. I basically didn't have it. And I figured, well, let's just crash the hell of this thing on the first flight and see how durable it is. You can see already that they changed the canopy there because that uh, UFL connector is in the way. And um, uh, the antenna popped off anyway in that crash where I uh, did the Matty flip and went backwards straight into the ground. And the battery didn't fare so well, so it got a little squished still works but I'm not so sure if it's safe to use this and the casing got switched and as you know I like uh, peeling the stickers off but mainly because the uh, frame is really tight with the stickers on it's hard to get the uh, uh, batteries in there they do go in but it's a little more a little more difficult uh, I'm not gonna go into all the details spec wise basically it's the same as the air 65 you just have the air 75 frame of course bigger frame uh, bigger motors, 0802 23,000 kV, and we have the two-bladed props, 
And now we're down to 21 grams. Um, they're still using the 4-in-1 flight controller and the separate Express LRS receiver uh, and the uh, 90 degree angle um, battery connector. And you know, it's like, it's kind of funny, but I did watch a few reviews and everyone's like, wow, it's so amazing. And I was like, well, you know, I made something like this like two and a half years ago, in February, like 2022, I think. I took the Meteor 75 and I stripped it down, turned it into an inverter. I'll link that in the video description if you missed that video. It was like 23 grams and I even put a uh, run cam thumb on top of there. Uh, and it flew really nice. And uh, basically it's, this is the same thing, just that now we have lighter components, lighter canopy, uh, lighter flight controller, um, and stuff like that. But the, and of, of course the frame is a lot lighter as well. I might, I might do a video later. I'll strip this down even more and get the weight lower. You know, it's like, it's kind of funny. Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon now. Um, yes, lighter is better. You get more performance. I've been saying this for years. People are, would just complain in the um, comment section that uh, you're stripping it down, you're just making it uh, weaker. And it's just true. You, you're, you're paying uh, a penalty for performance. If you want more performance, um, you have to get the weight down. That's kind of simple physics. Been saying this for a while and now everyone's on everyone's on the bandwagon now. So, uh, you know, here's that first flight. Everything's held up except for the UFL connector popped off in that crash and I smushed the battery. And I didn't actually know I, that connector was popped off. I should have saw that when the uh, video went crazy. Um, I did do like a little bit of that rest, that battery at the end that I probably shouldn't have. Uh, hopefully the VTX isn't totally fried. But yeah, that UFL connector does pop off in the crash. It has. I think I mentioned that in the uh, Air 65 video as well. Probably best to put some glue on there, but of course I just um, charged up some batteries and went and flew it and we'll see. I wanted to see how it would do. I keep getting these telemetry lost warnings. Ooh. Distracted. It's pretty windy right now. Yeah, I keep getting these telemetry lost warnings. That's really weird. I'm on the latest firmware, 3.5. So strange. All right, I gotta check if the uh, VTX antenna is still on there. VTX antenna is still on there. thing about the larger 75 millimeter size is that when you have wind it doesn't get blown out around as much as a 65 millimeter size still have plenty of performance telemetry lost oh, the telemetry lost so weird. Uh, I, I can tell you, I'm definitely not getting any of these warnings on the 65. Maybe I need to reflash this receiver. I don't know. It's pretty strange. Let's see. I know. Stop it. Hmm. 
and the, uh, maybe needs to reflash the receiver. Yes, yes. So weird. I'm not going too crazy on the throttle. I am getting a little bit more flight time. I haven't gotten a little battery warning yet. I mean, the pit tune is really nice. It's locked in, even with a little bit of wind here. It can still fly through tight spaces, no problem. Do more freestyle. And we get a lot of jello because I have a bent prop. Uh, a crack prop, I think. I think it's like a big chunk missing out of it. <laughs> ah, telemetry lost. Come on. Oh my god, what the hell. That's a reflash receiver. There we go, a little battery. Four minutes and 22 seconds this time. Not as much crashing. All right, so a little bit closer look at the damages here. So the prop over here is like kind of mangled up. A couple of them are kind of mangled up. Like there's another one right there. It's just kind of the chunks are taken out of that one. Same over here, it's kind of consistent. The canopy broke over here, as you can see. I think that's where all the jello is coming from. And the frame cracked here in the back. These are all pretty easily to be repaired. I can just put a little bit of welders here to hold this together. The frame is about to go over here. So you can kind of see where the weak spots are. Obviously you get see all these stress stress marks here because the white crashed into the ground backwards. And that's where most of those are. There's also some in the front. See some of the stress marks you can see you got these joints where this frame is going to eventually break, but you know, I could put a little bit of welders in here and easily repair that as well as the canopy. And they do include a spare canopy. So go ahead and do that and then we'll just keep flying it because I'm, uh, yeah, it's still working just fine. And then I'm gonna put some welders on that uh, UFL connector so it doesn't pop off again. Flight after I fixed the canopy, you can see the uh, jello is gone now. They're mostly gone. I, I bent the props back <laughs> with uh, some needle nose pliers. A lot more windy today and sunny. Ooh, hit the flagpole. It's, it's really windy. It's hard to control this that close. But I stayed in the air. It's uh, still flying really well. It's no, no worse for wear from all the abuse it took yesterday. And um, I did reflash the, whoa, don't hit the tree. I reflashed the uh, ELRS receiver and now the uh, telemetry loss warnings are gone. I guess this didn't take the first time. It's really weird. I mean, it took my um, bind freeze that's why, that's why usually I just fly, I usually flash to the latest version or to match my radio. And I put the bind freeze in and that obviously worked because I could, it was bound and I could fly it. It was kidding me all these weird telemetry loss warnings. So I guess 
you know, Eula Rest isn't perfect, but you just have to reflash it again and that seems to fix the problems. Everything's fine now. Loop the flag. Yeah, it's uh, no problems. You know, uh, things that are lighter are actually more durable in my experience. Things will break, of course. I mean, everything breaks. There's nothing that's completely indestructible, but uh, I think because the whole thing has less mass overall, you're just going to have less damage, and especially the things like cameras and flight controllers and, and motors seem to survive better when the overall weight is lighter compared to when it's a lot heavier. Yes, you're going to break things like the canopy and the, the frame, um, which I used to use a little bit of welder's glue to fix the canopy, literally as little tiny little dabs. And you can see it's totally fine. Uh, I don't particularly like this canopy. I think I've mentioned that several times, and in, including in the uh, media or the Air 65 video, it's just, the material is not that flexible. So you're gonna those the canopy is gonna break, but it is very easy to repair. I'm getting a low battery warning already. Three and a half minutes of flight. So I think that'll do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later.